<laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. Um, today's video is actually going to be on some ways and some ideas to get back into your daily practice of witchcraft. This can go for both pagans and wiccans, not just those who do witchcraft. You want to be my that is traditional witchcraft. Um, maybe for some shamans or those who do root work and stuff. Um, this is just an idea. Um, and basically, based on what I've been doing. So, I haven't been able to practice witchcraft um, for like three months. Um, and at that time, that was because we were moving to a different apartment complex and things like that. So I couldn't really do any magic, I couldn't really do any meditations and things like that because I was so stressed. I was, you know, just not in a good place to do it. Um, but recently I've been wanting to get back into it. Um, and yeah. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> um, so one of the main things that I did um to ease myself back into it was to basically start reading chants and prayers and things like that and studying about a specific deity um and at the time and i mean i still do now i worked with hades and thanatos and i really you know i missed it, their presence i missed working with them i missed talking to them so I would just take some time um, in my new place <laughs> um, to light a candle in their honor, light incense as an offering for them, uh, read a chant, sing to them, read a poem relating to like passing, death, um, and things like that. So I, I did that and then I slowly started to, um, you know, just stick with just lighting candles and incense, um, and nothing other than that, just candles, incense, and then I started to do like candle magic, which is, you know, yellow for happiness or harmony, um, you know, things like that, and then I started to also incorporate the incense that could help with that. And I feel like that's a good starting point for anyone is doing candle magic um, to just slowly ease yourself back into it. And if you're working with an EAT like I was, um, and I still am, um, they are very understanding. You don't have to get scared that you know they're upset with you or anything like that. They understand you're busy, you're a human being too, they get busy also. Um, but every little dedication that you do for them makes them happy. <laughs> um, and then another thing that I started to do was I started to reorganize and decorate my altar. Um, and just took some time to just really fix it to my preference and make it comfortable and nice to my eye that felt good good in my energy and things like that um and then that's when I started to do spell jars spell jars are really simple and easy they don't require a whole lot of energy so that's another thing I suggest after you're done doing candle magic is doing spell bottles um and that can go for like making your own oils um is it your own elixirs potions powders um and things like that maybe um oh yes actually starting protection spells is a good starting point too because you can always use protection um and when i did that i did it with our new place um, and that was, I put a protection spell jar in my window and in my living room window. 
And then I made, they're kind of like witches balls. I put that like near the door. I made my own besom. And, you know, just things like that. You're slowly easing yourself slowly creating your own protection barrier again that's your shield and then after that is a good starting point to start doing your actual magic um but i also do highly suggest um fitting in somewhere your meditation because meditating is such a huge and important part about this um, and if you can't meditate, just, you know, maybe doing research on the deity or listening to music that relates to that deity or the energies and things like that could help. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to make this quick little video, maybe to help you guys out. Um, so... Yeah, if you guys have any ideas, though, on what you do to get back into your witchcraft practice, then comment them down below. Um, I actually have another one, a bonus, <laughs> and that's um, doing, when you're drinking your tea, you can enchant it. When you're drinking coffee, you can enchant it, and when you're drinking hot chocolate, you can enchant it. Doing that in your daily practice can help boost up your energy levels and can help with getting back into the practice of witchcraft. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you all have a very good day. Please feel free to subscribe, um, leave down questions down below, and I will see you all later. Bye! <laughs>